Sup my dudes, Valk here, and today I'm going to be talking to you about why Spiritual Sensitivity is the best team in the game. I made the top 5 list a couple days ago and I see a lot of people contending it. Um, whenever it comes to my top 5 list, I put Spirit Wars, or not Spirit Wars, Spiritual Sensitivity is number 1, number 2 is Youth, 3 is Spirit Wars, 4 is Swordmaster, and 5 as Flowers. Now, 5 I'm more than willing to argue with. Uh, I feel like there's a lot of teams that could have taken that 5th spot. Um, I feel like that's perfectly acceptable if you guys don't agree with my fifth placement but the top four i will die on the hill i think that spiritual sensitivity is absolutely the best i think youth with the addition of rias is the second best because now it's creeping on the the like realm that is the same as spiritual sensitivity and the fact that it has really strong options for all content um i think spirit warriors as third is absolutely up there simply because gilgamesh is on the team that's how strong gilgamesh is gilgamesh is the best unit in the game for a reason um, if you go over here to Spirit Warrior, I already have it up. Uh, you can see it has Gilgamesh, it has Grimmy, it has basically that's it. Oh, it also has UR plus, it has Gein, um, it has Shinji on it. No, Shinji's really good, UR plus plus Shinji. Everyone that tells me Evo, I know, I know, I'm just being lazy, let me be lazy. I know he's one of the best units in the game, but it has Gilgamesh, Grimmy, Shinji, etc. You get the idea. And with Ichigo Blanco as the lead, providing white, it has Ruki as well. It's absolutely one of the best categories in the game. It doesn't have the wide breadth of tools that the 1 and 2 have, that youth and spiritual sensitivity has. But it just has raw, raw power, and I think that's really something to consider. Anyways, another thing I want to talk about before I talk about why spiritual sensitivity is the best team in the game. Yes, my uh, blessing I have, my cosmetic, is from Female Shadow Monarch. And where you get female Shadow Monarch, female Gojo, and all that, you go to the stop, you go to here, you, you click, uh, not special deal, but you click skins, and they'll be here. You buy them for Robux. Yeah. So every video I get asked, what are those? Yes, it's it's this is the female Shadow Monarch and female Gojo you get from the shop as well. You can also get female Sid if you want her. Uh, they have really cool blessings. I highly recommend doing it. But today i'm going to be talking about spiritual sensitivity and the reason why it's the best team in the game so let's go ahead let's talk about it let's get into it finally i can talk to start the conversation because i do think that this is a really cool team and it's good to talk about so as you can see there's not a ton of units on the category however these units are all really 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 strong and what do i mean uh gojo is one of the best supports in the game shinji is one of the best supports slash nukes in the game um, we have these two right here. Get those probably the best unevoed LR. I feel like that one's not really debatable. Higuruma has one of the best pass or one of the best actives in the game. Um, Megami is the best summoner in the game. Uh, Sukuna is one of the best DOTs in the game. Uh, Nanami is the best crit unit on the game on placement, as well as Yuta being the best crit unit in the game. Well, he's not crit, he's love, but it is crit. And then you have Toto here, who's probably the highest damage in the game for per cost. He only costs like 44k to max, and he can, if you factor in the fact that he has guaranteed superpowers, so he reaches like a 3 point something million attack stat for 44k, uh, that's really, really insane. So, all in all, uh, basically what this means is that this team has tools for everything. Even teams on the team, although it doesn't really matter. So... This team has tools for literally everything. It has Grimmy on it as well, which is funny. Uh, but basically, let's say you just need a lot of damage very quickly. You don't really need to last a very long time. Uh, you're doing like something like a 10 wave content, right? You can run Gojo. Gojo provides slow. You can run Toto. You can run like Gojo plus Toto. And then wh whatever else you want in reality. Uh, Gojo plus Toto, and then Higuruma, and then just a bunch of supports. You can even tag in Zombie Pledge if you really wanted to. You can tag in Giselle. Uh, but you could run the, these two characters in like a sub-10 like ten wave team, just for a, a super cheap team. Run Dingy, Idol, and then Flower Magician, or somebody with a slow. You could run like Witch Knight just for his slow. You can run a bunch of different things. But the main thing is you're going to be able to pump out a ton of short damage with a to with a toto but then let's say you're running an elemental team or an elemental rush stage in abyss and you need to bring in a dot team it's like all right so you have gojo as you lead you swap out to sakuna 
And then you just run maybe Yuda and then Dark Flame Lover. Dark Flame Lover to stun. Uh, Sukuna to do the DOT. And then you have Yuda to hurry up and take out the boss whenever he ramps up the entire time. So then you have all that going on for Elemental. You could even bring Higuruma and just turn Elemental off. Yeah, you don't even need to deal with it. Just bring Higuruma, max him out, turn the Elemental off. Like, you, you have so many options. And then you have Crit Team that you could also run. You have different options of your crit team. You could run Gojo, Yuta, Nanami, and then Dark Flame Lover. Or you could run Gojo and then Megami with Ghetto and then Dark Flame Lover still to stun because Charm works on metal enemies. And just a bunch of supports. Basically what I'm getting at with Spiritual Sensitivity is this team tackles anything. This team dominates any bit of content to the point where I'm of the camp. Some people may disagree with me. But I think Gojo right here needs to get banned from Abyss. And the reason I say that, specifically Gojo, it's not because I think Gojo's so broken. I think it's because Gojo's lead allows this team to exist. If you get rid of the leader skill, the team no longer exists and Abyss is no longer a cakewalk. But as long as Gojo is legal in Abyss, this team functions perfectly fine and it tackles everything you throw at it. This is by far the best team in the game. It's not even close. And I just wanted to make a video explaining exactly why. Basically, TLDW, if you guys are just skipping to the end and you're just like, oh, what did he say? Um, basically, this team does everything. It does every bit of content. It touches basically every single type of damage mechanic you can have. It does literally everything you could want. Anyways, that's the video. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Am I right? Am I wrong? Catch you guys in the next one. Peace.